What's good everybody? It's your boy Rishraf back at it again and today we got teams. Now we're going to be going over how to use teams like if team is this, if you're on the team, if a team's doing this. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so we're going to be going over some team only GUIs and a team only click detector. Now, the first thing we're going to do is insert a GUI. And now I'm going to cover more on teams in my new series, Nil to Mill, which I have not gotten around to because this response was not what I wanted. But if you guys want to see anything specific on the channel, leave a comment in the description. All right, I'm going to go ahead and name this GUI team only, and I'm going to insert a button. I like to set up the GUIs first and then bring them to life with the code. If you guys want to learn how to introduce teams, meaning how to instantiate some teams into your game because they're not automatically in there for some reason, make sure you guys locate over to model, hit the advanced and right here, these little gears, you're going to want to do teams insert. Now you'll see that the teams folders here and you can insert a team here. It's important to name it. So we'll do the red team and we will, we will have their color as really red. The colors and team names really do matter in this instance. And then we'll insert another team and we'll call them blue. We'll go ahead and change their color to really blue. So we have a red team with really red and a blue team with really blue. And now I'm gonna select both of these so I can edit both of their properties and turn off auto assignable. If you do this and all of your teams are not auto assignable, then that means that people cannot go on your team automatically. They have to manually be on the team. So in this instance, I'm going to turn it on for red. So when we spawn in, we should automatically be on the red team. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my output here. And then we can start coding this by saying local script. And then we can do script dot parent dot text button. I'm just doing it super simple dot mouse click. All right. So this is how you make a simple button. Like this is like the simplest thing I can do right now is say script up parent, which is here. The scripts parent is team only and the child is text button. So we're going to say text button and then the built in function mouse click. So when you click this UI, this is what you're going to do. We're going to add a little argument here. It's going to say PLR. So we have PLR. I like to do PLR for player. And then what we'll say is if PLR dot team dot name equal equal red, then and we'll just add a print. We'll be like, um, they are on the team. All right. So what this is, is if the player's team dot name, you can use if the player's team dot color, or you can use the property by itself. You could just do if team equals team. I don't like to do that. I like to do names or colors just so that way you get a little, little more defined perception of what it's actually supposed to be. Now, what I want you guys to notice is that we did if PLR, you don't want to use an argument here. What you want to do is you want to say local PLR equals game dot players dot local player. Now you only want to do this for a local script. I'll show you how to do it server side. Now this is local. Now you'll notice we load it in and we have red because it's auto assignable. We'll click it and boom, they are on the team. See, because we're on the red team, it's just simple conditions. Now we'll say if blue, right? If they are on the blue team, this is obviously not going to work because we're not on the blue team, but I'll show you guys how to do that. Click it. I'm spamming this thing and it's not going to work. So that's how you can check if they're on a team. Now, if you guys want to use this in a game setting, here's how you'll do it. You're going to insert a part. We'll do a click detector. So we'll shut off the UI here and then we'll do part. We'll just put this in here. We'll add a simple click detector along with a script. I like to put the click detector in the part, not underneath the script uh, as a child. I mean, all right, so now what we can do is take the exact same thing. We'll say script.parent.clickdetector. If this does not autocomplete, check your hierarchy. Check the explorer. You did something wrong. Dot mouse click connect function PLR. PLR is going to be used here, not in that local script. 
boom, we're gonna use this. So the PLR is automatically sent through the mouse as a click detector. Now we can use the exact same code. We can say if PLR.team.name equal equal, and we'll say red, and then print we are on the team. We'll press play. Hopefully we got that UI out of the way and watch the output. So we're gonna go here. Um, this UI doesn't matter. We're gonna click the part and boom, it says we are on the team because we are on the red team. Now, a lot of you are like, okay, that's cool, Rishref. How do I add multiple teams? Well, you're gonna do the exact same thing just with an and. It's like speaking English. You're gonna say and, let me just do that again. And plr.team.name equal equal. So in this instance, you would add additional team. We're gonna say blue. So take a minute and realize, will this work right now? If we automatically get put on the red team and we read if player.team.name equals red and they're basically on the blue team, then we're on the team. Well, let's check it out. Obviously it's not going to work because we are not on the red and blue team at the exact same time. See, you, you cannot be on two different teams at the same time according to the Roblox built-in teams function. You'd have to you know, make your own. And then for the script here, we can say or. So we can do or. There's and and then there's or. If player.teamName equals red or. So it's like speaking English, if we're on the red team or if we're on the blue team. So obviously this is going to fire and this is going to work because we are on the red team. And again, guys, if you guys didn't catch what I said, boom, it works. If you guys did not catch what I said about the auto assignable, uh, if you guys want like a starting team, make sure you just turn auto assignable on. If you do not have auto assignable on on any teams, that is all right. It will just make a new team for you called neutral. And that is literally a neutral team. And yeah. And if you have both auto assignable on on every team, it will just randomly pick a team. Uh, I think it will most likely go for the priority child. But anyways, guys, that's a simple tutorial on how to use teams. And if the team equals whatever team only stuff. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are signed in, I mean, just hit that like button or leave a comment or something. You know what I mean? And subscribe so you can get more tutorials just like this. Peace.